Today I will show you how to make the glitch stutter effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have some clips of one and only from his Stardust music video. I absolutely love this music video, but what I love more are glitch stutter effects. So what you can do is select the clip that you like and press Ctrl D on it. And what you can do now is press Ctrl Y and on the adjustment layer, let's add STV damage. Now STV damage does require the Sapphire plugin, so I'm very sorry for that. Sapphire is the most important plugin if you want to make crazy glitch stutters, but if you don't have Sapphire, you'll still learn some sauce in this tutorial. Uh, and here, what I like to do is I like to make the reception master to absolutely zero, and I like to go to fast forward amount, and I'll just bump it up to like two point something. It doesn't really matter how much you bump it up. I mean, I guess it does. If you bump it up to like super high, it's going to be incredibly bright, but actually that's not even that bright. And the most important part is to go to fast forward details, and here you can start to absolutely absolutely mess around. So like, for example, you can make the band frequency to 0.7 to only have one band. And I like to make the band shift go pretty much like anywhere. Like for example, maybe here, you know, that looks pretty cool. And if we want, you can also make the band height a bit lower, maybe like 0.13, you know, just not to have it that high. And we can keyframe the band shift right here. And now we can go one frame forward. And here I'm actually going to press U to see all the keyframes. I'm just going to keyframe it again at the same. That's kind of what I like to do. And let's go one frame forward and here we can make the band shift go like kind of high like somewhere on top of here and now let's go one frame forward and guess what i'll just keyframe it right this and now let's select all of these keyframes press ctrl c go one frame forward press ctrl v and now go here press ctrl v now go forward press ctrl v and go forward press ctrl v and now you can enjoy your wait a minute that looks terrible why povikas well because we need to actually make it stutter we didn't actually add any stutter we just added a glitch that will help us make the stutter so if we want to make the glitch look a bit cooler we can also add signal which is one of my favorite plugins and here let's go to luma modulation turn off tape errors and turn on and off although you can sometimes keep the turn on and off and i like to make the signal strength eight and i also like to bump up the hue noise to like 58 and now we can also add fast box blur and i like to make this to two and to make it a bit cooler let's also add unsharp mass and i like to make the radius like four and the uh, amount to like 120 and here we go we have a pretty cool looking glitch but the glitch actually doesn't do much because we haven't made it stutter so what we can now do is as you remember we duplicated the clip layer well we can select it and select the adjustment layer both of them right click go to pre-compose and let's just call this stutter and press ok and now we can start stuttering so we can drag this a little bit forward and as you can see we have our clip right this and then it's gonna stutter back like this and we can actually go like three frames forward somewhere like here press ctrl d and bring this something like this and delete the first frame and now we're gonna have a bit of a stutter like that as you can see that looks kind of cool but we can go one frame forward and we can press ctrl shift d to cut the layer and let's bring for example the last keyframe or the last two keyframes yeah let's just bring the last two keyframes and press ctrl shift d and delete the first part so now it's gonna be like a weird stutter it's gonna like stutter at the start stutter the same clip and then stutter the ending of the clip so that's gonna look pretty pretty cool and after this stutter what i actually like to do is I like to press ctrl y and i like to add transform and let's make the scale something like 140 i like to zoom in on the stutter i think it looks really really nice and what i like to do is now go to the stutter and let's press ctrl d and one of my favorite things i like to do with stuttering is i like to go one frame forward and here let's make this go one two frames forward press ctrl shift d delete the first part go one two frames forward press ctrl shift d delete that part that's pretty much going to make a stutter like this and we can also press ctrl d again on this layer and make this go back like this and delete the last frame so it's pretty much going to stutter like that which looks really really nice and honestly this looks like a pretty solid stutter i mean what you could do is press ctrl y and at the ending you can go to animation presets user presets and you can use the best 
pack to add glitches and this is the most professional way to add glitches to your edits it's by using my glitch presets pack which took me a bunch of time to create so in glitch presets pack you can for example just drag and drop glitch one and this will work amazing for a glitch starter because you can use for example like just three frames of it and press ctrl shift d and delete so we just used pretty much glitch one for only three frames and it's gonna look like a crazy star so just look how it looks absolutely crazy like a really really nice stutter just like that all right so once we have done this stutter let's go and make my favorite stutter version now you might have actually seen the stutter this is a pretty popular stutter i like to do it on a car so here i just have a car layer you can have any layer don't worry you don't have to have a car layer and what i pretty much like to do is i like to press ctrl y and what i love to do here is i like to go to glitch presets and i love to add glitch 10. now we need to go to the ending of the adjustment layer and press ctrl shift d and delete now this glitch star is gonna work like this pretty similar to the other one what we'll do is select the car layer and the adjustment layer right click pre press pre-compose and here we can call it glitch 10 stutter and press ok so let's go one two frames forward press ctrl d to duplicate the layer and let's go one two three four frames forward right there and on top of this part i like to right click new go to solid and i like to make this to completely black and press ok now let's press ctrl shift d to cut delete that part go one frame forward plus ctrl shift d delete that i love to add black solid layers so much for my stutters but now let's keep going so once we have stuttered here what we can do is we can press ctrl shift d and bring the last keyframe of the stutter and it is going to be this one i don't know if it's going to be the same for you because you might have a longer clip let's go back right here and press ctrl d to duplicate it make it go on top and make it go forward from this to stutter again so it's pretty much just gonna spam this stutter which is actually my favorite stutter as you can see it looks really really spammy but that's amazing for a stutter and now let's duplicate this layer again pressing ctrl d and make it go right here so it's just gonna duplicate this and now let's duplicate the black solid layer and make it go right here we're gonna make it last two frames and now let's go back to here press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring it forward here but here i'm not gonna select this frame i'm gonna select a different frame i'm gonna extend this and select this frame so let's delete the other frame and here we can go forward and now we can duplicate this one but this clip we can actually extend right here and press ctrl d bring it right here and select this so what we're pretty much going to do is just kind of spam it like that right here we can extend it but with one frame and here we can press ctrl y to make a new adjustment layer and let's add transform and let's make the scale to 140 i told you i really like the adjustment layers with transform and what you can do on this clip is also just press ctrl d maybe take this frame delete the frames around now go back to this frame press ctrl d and now take the last frame delete the other frames and you can also press ctrl d and keep it like this so it's gonna be like stuck on two frames at the ending and here is my favorite stutter this is an absolutely viral stutter and just and just a super crazy way to use stutter effects i mean that is mind-blowingly good and for our stars you would just pretty much do the exact same i did there like you would just press ctrl y as you remember add stv damage or any of the glitches which are absolutely premium so for example like glitch 2 works amazing for stars as well select both the clip and the layer right click press pre-compose and press ok and just as you remember go one two frames forward press ctrl d and just repeat it like this that's pretty much my favorite way to do a glitch stutter just like this exactly like this just looks really really crazy if you were wondering at the ending i added glitch 15 and all i did was the same tactic i was showing it before i just didn't use any black solid layers and i just used the other methods i just did here and welcome cool guys as a thank you gift for watching tutorials and just supporting the channel you can use code povicus to save five dollars off on the glitch presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya